Alright, so we are continuing on to repelling the attackers on both of the border posts. Excuse me. I drank some Gatorade. <laughs> I realized I'd been talking for ages without drinking anything, and uh, any commentator will tell you that that is a terrible idea. You should always have something to drink beside you, which in this case I did. But I had it beside me on the floor, so I didn't pick it up, and I didn't drink. And, yeah. Throat's a little dry, so. Finally got something in me, which is good. And let's continue on. And I'm not, I don't have to kill the pro droids now, but they are a part of them. Oh, never mind. Pro droids count. I did not think that they counted. No. Oh. There's going to be a lot of them coming in and smacking me in the face because there's a lot of them here, which is just, you know, like killing me. Ah, uh, okay. All right, we're gone. We're disappearing. So we're just going to have to assertively strike at them. And is she still fighting? No, she's stealth. Okay, so why is it... Why is it causing her problems? I don't know. All right. So we're just going to have to do that. We're going to have to pretty much dip in and out and play it really stealthy. And we'll get through it pretty fast. It's just I have to watch myself with these large amount of mobs. Because that is where it just gets ridiculous. Where you attack one mob. But you attack them with AOE. And you don't expect all the extra damages and AOEs to come out. I'm going to throw a knife at you. I wish that did more damage. That really feels like it needs to do more damage. Because it is just like the, the cream of the latte, you know, you stab someone, and oh, it's going to do some damage. You throw a knife at someone, yeah, going to hurt. Still going to hurt, you know. Plus, it would make an awesome finisher move where you could just like, eh. But considering I'm using it as an opener, you know, it doesn't have to do a ton. It still has its uses. The immobilization alone is definitely worth it. Because I have it spec for 100%. Once it once it gets a bleed on it though, it'll be really good. Or poison. Take these droids out. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this out, pop this. What the heck? How are you attacking me? Oh, I see. Silly guy. So where did the rest of you guys gonna run? Like air dropping in on me. Big explosion. Boom. Done. Done deal. Alright, so we have repelled these. So, I, yeah, it was pretty simple. Honestly, before I just. I was derping up. Just not going in with a level head and thinking through. Because you have to forgive me. Uh. You know, as I told my friend, normally on Sundays, you know, I have the day off from work because I work through the weekends and uh, I'm all good. But I had to come in and cover a shift. Uh, we had someone that was sick and couldn't work. So I had to cover and come in and cover their cooking shift, which was, you know, fun. If you don't know, I work... Uh, I think I've said this a couple times, and you can find it on stream as well, but uh, I work on the weekends as a DJ and a cook when I have to at a local restaurant, and man, so I, I, we did, I did all the cooking today and literally got up at 9 a.m., went in and stayed till 4 o'clock, so I'm actually pretty tired right now. But, so, it's not like I'm exhausted, wouldn't be the word for it, but I'm just, you know, to the point where I'm kind of on, you know, autopilot a little bit, which isn't that good of a thing to be on when you're trying to do a playthrough, but hey, eventually I'll wake myself up, because it's double XP weekend, and I honestly considered going back to sleep, and I was like, X double XP weekend, yeah, worth, you know, worth it, totally worth it. So, let's do this. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and poison the killer hives. I'm going to go ahead and kill some of these, too. Uh, just to make sure. That's a really weird thing to say. That's that's a better thing to say. And we're just going to see real quick. 
if uh, we have a side quest. Yeah, we do, which is good. So I quest are okay with me. I don't mind them one bit. Give me a couple thousand experience. I don't have a problem with that. Whoa. That's probably not a good thing to be doing with her low HP, huh? Alright, so that's one hive down. We have seven more hives to go and what? 23 forces to kill. It's easier to look for the ones that aren't silver though and kill those guys because they die a lot faster. Don't give you as much XP for clear, but still faster is faster. You know? I'll be really excited when we get uh, another companion because I think we are going to give us a damage dealer. Usually that's how it's been. They give you a damage dealer, either a damage dealer, a healer, or a tank. They never give you like one back to back. Kind of keep it really spaced out. So we'll see. I know my bounty hunter, they had a very good variety and started out with a healer for those who tank. And then you went to damage and once I got my damage dealing character, uh, things died a lot quicker. It's also worth noting that I don't have any, uh, what are they called? Mods in a lot of my gear. The only couple pieces are actually able to even be modded. So. Once I get mods put in my gear, that'll help immensely. <laughs> Boom! Ninja! I love that. That is just the most amazing thing. Especially when you're in PvP. If you're in PvP and you just like literally stealth bomb someone, come out and burst your combo, stealth bomb them to where like a uh, group surrounding you can't move, and then use cloaking screen to just literally walk out. And then you use sneak, or not sneak, yeah, you sneak while you're stealth to get that like 50% movement bonus and just to get where like no one can detect you. Oh, Jesus, it is the coolest feeling in the world. Guess you can tell I really enjoy it. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh my god, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful knife with some amazing stats right there. Look at this. Sucks that we got a little bit of minus on the critical rating because I'm trying to keep my critical rating pretty high, but we did get some shield rating, which, you know, I can't really use a lot of the shield rating, I think. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to check that out just in case. Yeah, introduction, defense chance. Is it off of my shield rating? No, it's just off of my dodge. See, I don't think I can use shield rating because I don't have a shield generator, which makes sense. But, uh... That extra minimum, max and minimum damage and the 13 cunning and the tech power definitely make up for that by far. Which reminds me, I need to look at my crit. Alright, so we have about 5% crit chance as far as just off of that alone. About 16, almost 17% crit chance, which is pretty good. Definitely use some good accuracy, so try to boost the... Boost your bolster. Bolster is the word I'm looking for. Bolster that up a little bit. I'm really aiming for cunning, but I really want to be able to hit those hard crits. Because it's just kind of how I'm gearing this character to just become a monster of a nuke. Bad thing about playing a character like that, though, if you can't burst down your opponent, you are boned. But as far as PvP, so... But for PvE, it shouldn't be too bad. Right. PvP on the other hand, you know, got to be able to mobilize. Essentially, immobilize the new healers and you're golden. But if the healers can heal through or they have a tank to aggro, you off them long enough for the healers to heal, you're bold. Absolutely bold. Because, uh, yeah. Healers have a couple moves now, though, that are just like absolutely just roll your face to any. They have a move that makes them pretty much unseizable for a duration. And uh, oh my god. But I like it. I like it because of, it gives them an element of counterplay, which is good. But at the same time, 
you have to really really shine as a stealth character and know when to go in and when to engage always like that though gives the game a little bit more depth all right so we've almost destroyed all these hives so let's start killing out clearing out some of these guys while we're waiting for hives to respawn by the time the hives respawn we should be golden Also, I'm going to have to use another experience boost. I like these experience boosts because that lets me know how long I've actually got recording for and I can gauge how many episodes I've gone off by. Pretty cool. Give me a little cool way to keep track of it. Boom. But any game with an in game clock is just like the most. Is such a blessing and I'm like it really is I wish more developers would put in-game clocks in you know as, as long as I think if you're if your game has an online component you should have some sort of a real-time clock <laughs> just because you know I'm all for playing games but you get those games where you know you just get your end of the game and you just lose track of time and that's not a bad thing but it's just when you're you know you just want to watch your time Anyone that knows me knows that I'm actually a fitness freak, and uh, I mean I I've been working out for you know the past five years, and when I started working out I was 129 pounds, five foot what six, five foot seven, uh, skin and bone, literally just skin and bone, and now I'm six foot one, 175 pounds of just rock hard muscle. And it's been an adventure. But definitely a life changing, life changing experience. But, uh, everybody looks at me like I'm nuts. But one of the things I always encourage people to do, especially, you know, in between games or in between, you know, just a period of time, like 30, 20 minutes, what I do for my playthroughs most of the time is I'll get up and after doing a 30 minute playthrough, I'll get up and after I turn the playthrough off and get done, I go get something, get up, get something to drink, walk around, move around, do a little bit of exercise, and do a little bit of push-ups, do a little bit of sit-ups, you know, I'll do a little bit of chin-ups, and you name it. Just, like, put a little small routine, doesn't have to be a lot, you know, five, ten minutes max, just to get that movement in there and just, you know, stay active, stay healthy, rather than sitting in front of a computer for, like, eight hours a day, you know. It's like... I'm all for playing video games, and I've been a gamer my entire life, longer than I've been uh, working out, but, you know, it just comes to the point where, you know, you as a person really have to value your own health, which is sadly, you know, something that a lot of people just don't look out for anymore. Not saying that everybody's bad enough, but, I mean, you know, it just seems like some people just don't care, you know? But I always encourage people to be like that. Anybody around me, that's just the kind of person I am. I've had many, I've had, like I said, I've had many life-changing experiences with working out and just helping people get fit, helping people just get healthy to start out with. Like a lot of people, you know, they want to get fit, they want to get well buff big swole ripped i mean you name it and uh they just like that's all they care about and you really just have to you know explain it. it's difficult sometimes explaining to people you know that's that's not what it's about it's not about looking absolutely amazing it's about being healthy and just maintaining your own body keeping proper nutrition keeping you know a proper diet you know it really is. I mean, I can tell you because I used to be the type of person that wouldn't drink water. I had a um, one time, believe it or not, and this is this happened to me. I had a massive migraine one day, and I ended up actually passing out almost in the back of a truck. And they had to take me to the emergency room, and they took me in. And by the time I got in to the emergency room, my mother, who is 
all of 100 and <laughs> 130 pounds per five foot four maybe so she's tiny and uh, she had to literally carry me in and by you know at the time this was about four years ago so I just I just got like into working out and I wasn't where I was working out every day you know maybe every other day and just barely doing anything so I wasn't too big but compared to her, you know, I was still a good couple inches over her. And she had to literally carry me into the hospital. And they hooked me up to an IV and pumped two liters of water for, uh, God, I can't even remember how many minutes. I honestly don't remember much of it because after, but I just, I do remember though, after, um, after they pumped that water into me. And as I started getting hydration back into my system, I remember the headache. And the massive migraine that I had just disappearing almost instantaneously. And it was, it was just, that was kind of one of the turning points for me as a person. You know, that I was like, wait a minute, alright, something's got to change. And I just really got into looking, you know. Started drinking more water an hour. You know, back then I drank sodas and ginger ale and all the high fructose corn syrup. Nice good stuff. But, uh. And I realized, you know, how dependent my body had become to the point, you know, to where it's like Dr. Pepper. I know people that drink Dr. Pepper every single day. And they literally have to have a little bit of Dr. Like coffee. They have to have a little bit of Dr. Pepper every single day. Or they get just completely, they get migraines. They just get completely sick. And I, I just hate it for them, you know. It's so crazy, but uh. It's one of the toughest things to do is just wean yourself off of something, but you know, I got to the point where I don't even drink sodas anymore. I have maybe one soda every six months, you know, if that, because I just, I see that if I drink a soda, I have to work 10 times harder and it just feels like to me personally that I'm cheating on myself and you know, cheating on my goals and what I'm trying to accomplish and it's just like not worth it for me. Yeah, that one little bit of soda, because I just, like, I just don't even want them anymore, you know? I just drink only water. But it's crazy. I don't know, guys. Kind of went off, sorry about that. I, I kind of went off on, you know, just a little personal commentary thing. But, uh, I like to do that from time to time, which is fine. Let you guys get to know me as a person. I mean, I know you guys know me kind of, but like you don't at the same time. Because most of my commentaries, you know, I talk about what's going on in game. But that's something I'm really trying to work on, you know. And I'll start doing it in vlogs as well. Because I haven't really started posting up a lot of vlogs. Which is something I really got into on my other channels. Doing vlogs and just, you know, updating you guys. Keeping you guys not only up to date with the channel, but just like what's going on. And who, you know, I am as a person. Giving that a little bit of flair. But, uh... Oh my god, what are you doing? Are you crazy? You know what? I don't... You know what? Do whatever you want. Go crazy. You want to jump into the middle of 50 people? Go for it. I'm all... I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there with you. I'm in the trenches. <laughs> but... I think that's pretty cool, and that's something I will do, because I know, like, some of the people that came over here, back from the channel, that the new channel that I created, I did a lot of vlogs, and I did talk about, you know, me as a person, but I will. I'll do something like that that actually introduces me, might even eventually put it as my channel trailer, if it gets popular. I don't think I'll do, like, one big video talking about everything, because that would just be, like, way too much at one time, but I think I'll just drop... You know, maybe it'd be like a week or something. She's talking about me. What's going on? Where I came from? What I've seen and what I've done. And just life in general. Be something cool to add a little bit of extra flavor to the channel. I mean, I, I see some people like vlog channels, and that's just, I don't want to do that, you know. I mean, I respect people that do that. Not saying that, like, it's a terrible idea. Oh, my God. I would just, like, ah, but no. I just, like, I'm not the person. I, I learned that, you know. Just, it's better to keep everything at one place. 
especially pertaining to yourself so that if people like vlogs and they like you know talking about personal experiences and sharing parts of their life with others then they can come and do that you know and if you like just like gaming commentary well you can stick to gaming commentary you know there's no barrel to anybody said forcing anyone to do anything you must watch all the videos Oh crap, I'm sorry guys. 